Gosh. And welcome back to Skyrim. Lydia and I are going to Kronvanger Cave to find Roggy Notbeard's shield to get Roggy Notbeard to unwittingly sacrifice himself to Lord Boethia. All these spiders. When there's nowhere else to run, Kind's Peace is a lovely shout. A lovely shout. I have nothing to gain from spiders at this point. So they shall have nothing to gain from me. Okay. Get out of the way. Is this a... Okay, there's a chest here. Oh, great, I can't shout. Better. This was not exactly difficult. <laughs> the shield was in the egg sack. I might need to make a replica of this shield, but I'm thinking I might get this original shield back if I go with my plans. Ring of Horror. Enemy creatures and people have a chance to flee from combat when nearby. Now that's interesting. Do I already have that ability? Don't know. Let's have a look. I love doing this. I knew it. I didn't have this yet. Cool. Now I do, though. Right, we're going to be spending the next half hour with Boethia shenanigans. Uh, also, the blade, of, the Ebony Blade of Mephala, and <laughs> we're going to follow Sithis' ways. So many things that aren't really moral. But then, do they provide cool and powerful items? Right. Let's get out of here before the shell wears off. Kidding me. Wrong way. Yeah, I'm confused. Okay. Thank God. Okay. Hey, look, a cave. I wonder what's inside. Now, I'm wondering if an odious Papias ever sleeps. It's not that late yet. Ooh. Time for a quick prayer to Ariel. Just to cleanse my soul of the evil. <laughs> Dear Ariel, thank you for guiding me to perfection. I, rem I intend to remain here. In perfection's grace. While I do morally questionable things. Eventually they will all be... Uh, all, all wrongs will be righted. All sins will be accounted. I promise. See? Not that bad. Alright, let's go. Come on in. Let me know if you need anything. Or take a seat by the fire and I'll send someone over. I visited the meaderies of Riften once as a lad. Oh, wish I had their skill. Found your shield. My clan's shield. So Lena really did stumble into that cave, and was eaten by monsters. Maybe he In did. In honor of his memory, let me show you a few shield techniques. And tell me if you're leaving town. Be good to travel again. Gladly. Follow me. Let's not waste any time. Indeed. Let's not waste any time at all. Lydia, I'd ask you to stay here, but that would make you stuck here. Instead... Hmm... Is this the path up the mountain? I do not recall. I need to get to Boethia Shrine. It's gonna be up past Raven's Rest, I know that much.
Okay, time for vampire sight. Is that people? I don't think it is. Nope. Worst, worst case scenario, I'm just gonna wait a bit for my followers to catch up with me. I still need to kill Mr. Enodius Papius, but I'll wait until it's well and truly nighttime. I can't convince nameless people to be my proper followers, sadly. So that's sadly not a solution. I can't just mind control a guard or a hunter. It has to be a named character. Soul defeat to the Ebony Blade. Using a blade as a file to um, consecrate a sacrifice to Boethia is going to be interesting. Disable vampire sites. Now after this um, sacrifice is done with, it's gonna get a bit bloody. Lydia, I need you to be ready to just kill everything, okay? I'm also gonna do a hard save in case this ever turns out to be the wrong decision. We've stopped. What is it? I'm gonna need you to do something. Fine. What? what? Could you touch this pillar for a sec? We'll do. Here we go. It's amazing the kind of magic that the Daedric Princes applied. Shields and bindings. Oh, Lord. Wearing flesh is so oh, distasteful. Among us. Yes. You have caught my attention, mortal. That is most unwise. Ha! Tell me, why have you slain this one who trusted you here upon my shrine? I have slain Raggy Nutbeard to get your attention. Indeed. But I abide only those whose will is aligned to my own. Those who oppose my desires perish in the most dreadful of ways. Hmm. Who are you? I am called Boethia. Many names have mortals given me. But I am not interested in names. I am interested only in deeds. Hmm. You're a Daedric Lord. A god? Assuredly not. When was the last time you saw evidence of Adra in the world? No. We Daedra are far more powerful than any god. And among my brethren, I am the most feared. Hmm. I don't agree with that. But I am not afraid of you. Is that so? You should be. Though a heart without fear is something I can use. Perhaps you are the one I seek. Hmm. We shall soon find out. Listen! All of you! Hear me. 
Yes. I have need of a warrior. Only the most ruthless, cunning, and agile will do. You have gathered here night after night, sacrificing fools upon my shrine, and sparring aimlessly with yourselves. But which among you truly exceeds the rest? Prove yourselves to me. One moment, if you would. I'm going to make Vampire Sight number seven again. Because this uh, blade cannot be enchanted with, war with um, Elemental Fury. Vampire Sight number seven. I have a special task for whichever of you is left standing. Yep. I can feel their heart rate swelling in my blade. Thank you, Mafala. This blade is not very strong. But it'll do. It'll do just fine. Thus falls the cult of Boethia, I guess. Uh. Ooh, another blade of sacrifice. I'm not gonna say no to those. well-placed word or a well-placed dagger both can achieve equal purposes uh i think it went wrong yeah it was supposed to resurrect this guy but it resurrected this one instead be right back okay that should have fixed it hello boethia well done you have proven the strength of your will and your tongue's gift for life you have shown ferocity and prowess in combat. So I have. Now the time has come for a final proving. Are you able to cast aside your honor and strike with the hidden blade? Hmm. Honor is a coward, soul. I'm a member of the Dark Brotherhood. That's a stupid question. An astute observation. <laughs> Skyrim is a beautiful and harsh mistress, but her people cling to such a petty notion of honor. My previous champion displeases me. I see. It is time he is replaced, in the traditional fashion. We're gonna find him. You will find him holed up at knife Point Ridge, where he plays king to bandits and highwaymen. Okay. He's as good as dead. Kill every single member of his band. Do so as silently and invisibly as you can. For this is not about you. You are to be my instrument in this. I see. Slay him in the coldest of blood. Do not give him the dignity of defending himself. Very well. Once his corpse lays cold upon the ground, and all trace of his followers erased, retrieve my ebony mail. A gift fit only for my true champion. A gift to be displayed in a museum by my will. I do not want May to follow your will with you. Carve itself upon the world. Well, that follower went very, um, let's say, acceptingly. Detect dead. That's quite a few corpses. I'm right behind you. One of which is Roggy Knotbeard. Uh, Roggy's ancestral shield, as I thought. 
Yep. Someone had to die. That's the deal for the Ebony Mill. Plenty of Blades of Sacrifice, another miscellaneous. Oh look, Ritual Equipment of Boethia. Hmm, now that is interesting. Now I think this might be a unique set of armor, but it probably isn't. It is worn by the priestess of Boethia, though, so I'm going to keep it, uh, keep a set of it around. However, other things might go. After this episode, I'm going to have to do some merchanting. My inventory isn't full yet, but it's best not to leave these things to chance. There is one other thing here, though. Ancient Daedric Lord Boots. Oh, yes. Okay, so now what? Enodius Papius. And Boethius Calling, at some point. There's another reason I did the Boethia thing. But there's a mini mod that uh, adds a few more Boethius artifacts, which I want to get started on. Uh, carpets. So, yeah. I am the Dark Lord of Skyrim. Let's go. Oh, wait. This has to take a moment to recharge. Skibby dooby dum ba dum bum. Come on, let's go. It is currently late at night enough and dark enough that I'm hoping Enodius Papius has fallen asleep. That way I can uh, drain his blood, make him my friend, and then kill him with the Ebony Blade. It is a monstrous thing I do. But it is fun. It is tremendous fun. And we're flying past Windhelm. A city that I got fed up enough that I took a Christmas break. Uh, I'm with an ego on that place. It's, it's, it's got its charms, but in small doses. Right. And there's the wall right below, below us, as you can see. Mr. Papius should be on the right bank of this river. The northern bank. If I'm not mistaken. No, he's on the southern bank, isn't he? Yeah, he's on the southern bank. Very nearby. And needless to say, after this difficult attempt to speak with Boethia, I'm going to do another save. Also can activate Vampire Sight. Right. Mr. Papius. It is 10 p.m. Do you ever sleep? Let's spend a few more hours here. Seems he does. Ah! Well, that was not Mr. Papius. That is also an option. Let's have a quick look around. Back in the past. <coughs> Stalking your prey is kind of part of the Dark Brotherhood thing. Is that Mr. Papius? No, just a random farmer. So Mr. Papius used to be the miller, but he got ousted. answer to the question of does Mr. Papius ever sleep is yes. He's asleep right now. So let's feed on him and make him my friend. But that, that way Mafala will reward me. But Bloodbond Forged. Ebony Blade. 
Let's see if we can add additional flair to this. Let's talk. Why are you here? Get away from me! And I have found the skull of Anodius Papius. All right. Report back to Nazir. Oh, sorry, Nazir. I'm sure he's no Nazi. Okay. Um. Boom. What next? Knife Point Ridge and the Dark Brotherhood Sanctuary. Sure, I could do that. Let's go to. Let's go do that. Our compass. Fast travel to the Dirk Brotherhood Sanctuary. Sure, let's set a return way mark here for once. It's hammer time! What? It is. Yeah, it was. Until I displayed Bullet Room. Okay. Uh, I expect Lydia to show up here if I go inside. That is not what I want. I would, however, like it to be daytime, but even then... That is not a priority. Hmm. Cut! Dragon! Dragon, dragon. Okay, what's in here? Quick. Nothing much of value, not even any fairies. Which I would have really liked. Okay. Dragon, you say. I'm not seeing any dragons. I heard it roar, though. Right, Lydia, go get over here. Yeah, there was a dragon. Waiting, waiting. Come on then, Lydia. I saw you with me just a moment ago. There we are. Could you do me a solid? I'm gonna have to do some heavy sneaking. Could Still you wait here? here? As you wish, my fame. Thank you. I hope your new armor prevents you from glitching out too hard. Okay, so the dragon is somewhere to the north of here. There we are. I will acknowledge that it is very dark. have a sense of humor. Alright, on we go. Why am I still content to live in grayscale, even though I could just make it daytime by waiting a few hours? Because this mission that I'm going on requires stealth. Like, total stealth. Is this the place? Yes, it is. Okay. Now, I've been known to crash when using stealth before. So, let's go use this invisibility ritual. Which has been known to crash me before. Whatever. 
But if you want stealth, you get stealth. That's not what I wanted to do at all. One down. Nice guy. Many, many more to go. Go mayhem. That's a master spell. Uh, expert level. Uh, not mind control. Not pacify. Um, frenzy. Frenzy. Sometimes the best distraction is maniacs. Shroud walk. Damn, it is dark. <laughs> These people are pretty good sneaks. There we go. She wanted sneak, she got sneak. I'm gonna take the tech dead though, so I can loot the corpses. Not much worthwhile here. Volkman Dole Mistress, what the hell is that? Don't know. I should read up on these. Bandit Fear Striker Novitates. This sounds like MMO shit. Don't know for sure. Don't think so, but maybe. Okay, there's a guy on the on the watchtower. May as well open the door. Oh, that's what that does. Okay. Nice guy. One idiot slept through the whole thing. Good. I could use a snack. Cool. Lovely. We went with the hammer. Now that one I know. Man with the hammer, that's a turn of phrase. I don't know if it's English, but it's certainly Germanic. That's the fatigue you feel building up in your muscles after you're um, doing long duration yeah. sports activities, like marathons. Knife point mine. Now this is where I need to be extra stealthy. And let's go with Shroud Walk again. Oh, right. I need to keep my uh, illusion stuff equipped for that. None must know. None will know. Now, apparently there's a bug if you pacified the champion of Boethi, you could have a chat with him. 
Now, I'm not sure if that's true, but I'm willing to do a bit of save scumming to see. This guy has clearly set up a quite an industrious mining operation. Ah! Elven Blade. These people do have some valuables on them. I'll acknowledge that. Two more uh, small, small fry. Nice guy. Got him. This one is also clearly a small fry. The goal is to not be detected at the end of it, which I can do. guy, isn't it? Where does guards go? Okay, here. Some good amount of money. Yep. Time for a double save. Here's the man. Let's do a strong uh, pacify spell. Let's see if he has anything to say. That one, but don't try it again. Hello. Yes, sir. Ah, so you're Boethius champion, eh? That was a long time ago. Tell me, what's it like being Boethius champion? I told you, I'm done with all that. There's enough blood on these hands. I'm interested in creating things now. I see. So this is what you want. Uh, yeah. Slave for others? What about your own destiny? Mind my words, or I'll mind them for you. I'm slave to no man, no god, and no Daedra. I see. Boethia talks about leaving your mark, a sign of your passing. Well, you can make a mark on the world without treachery and murder. That's correct. Whenever a man's life is saved by armor made with these hands, these hands have changed that man's destiny and his family's. Yep. So you can tell that heartless Daedra bitch I'm done doing her dirty work. Well, she knows that. You'll die now. You're afraid to die? A man who feels no fear has no heart. I know fear, but it does not control me. If you desire to fight me, then let's get this over with. All right. Safe travels. Let's give you, give you a nice ignoble death. Say yes. Oh, can't do All right, that. then. There we go. Ugh. Amulets of Boethia. Ooh, steel weapons. Increases your health. That's pathetic. He has a Samulari, Ebony Equipment, and the Ebony Mail. You're able to move more quietly, and opponents that get too close take poison damage. You have done well, my champion. You have earned my respect. A feat few manage and live to tell about. I suppose. Yes. I shall write your name upon the tablet of absolute darkness. <laughs> you may keep my ebony mail, a token of my appreciation to my new champion. 
Its gifts will resonate with your talents. I suppose they will. Now go. I have strings to pull that require my full attention. You may pursue your own course wherever it leads you. I will. Remember always this. As you will it, so it shall be. Very well. Now, I'm going to do a few more things. Before I go back to the Dark Brotherhood Sanctuary, I have a few errands in the museum to do. I'm going to display the Ebony Mail. I'm going to have a quick look around at Volundrum. And I'm going to display those first few skulls. The next episode, we're going to go uh, back to... Um, ooh, not a lot of money. Next episode, we're going to go back to Lydia and the Dark Brotherhood Sanctuary. I will have also sold all my stuff. Anyway, enough waiting. Let's go to the Daedric Hall. Oh no, I need the East Exhibit Halls. Where I can display the Ebony Blade. Huh. Ah, Mirwin's Razor. Daedric Lord Boots. Don't have the gauntlets yet, but they, I will get them. Don't have the Daedric Crescent. Let's check downstairs. The Ebony Mail. A relic that predates recorded history. The Ebony Mail has seen many owners, but each under the close gaze of Boethia, its maker. The Ebony Mail offers great protection and warning against attacks for its wearer, but does not exude evil in the same way that many Daedric artifacts do. Huh. Yeah, a replica savior's hide. What now? Oh yeah, I know. All of the Dragonborn. We're going down, down in an earlier round. Sugar, we're going down swinging. Yes, indeed. Now these skulls have a place, don't they? Uh, there we are. Narfi, Beethild, and an Odius Papius. The beggar, the miner, and the miller. Thanks for watching. See you all next episode.